Max and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have the luxury handbag tag. Um, so if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep watching. Okay, I was tagged by um, Leo Lion LV and Wendy S the Loving 50. And please forgive me if I forgot anybody if I forgot anybody else. But this is the luxury handbag tag. I believe it was starred by Lydia. Um, Melon, I believe that's her name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that too, but it's been I'm probably the last person in the YouTube world to do it and I said I would do it So I wanted to come in and do it while I had a little bit of time tonight I took a quick break from work because we're kind of working from home right now and um, I'm gonna answer these questions for you guys really quick. So if you hear some noise in the background, my husband is nosily sitting here working <laughs> and he won't leave and this is where I film so we have a guest tonight. You wanna to say hi? Hello. He says hello. All right, so the first question is, how many handbags do you own? I plead the fifth to not incriminate myself while the leprechaun is present. Um, I own a few. We'll come back to that question. All right, so the next one is, how to organize and store your handbags? I um, have just some shelving in my closet and they're stored there. But for the most part, the ones that I use all the time, because I rotate my bags out like a lot, I um, have them kind of in my room because I'm constantly switching in and out of them. So there's like shelving stuff in my room and I just, I, I do that. Um, there's no special beautiful laid out display case or anything like that. They're pretty much just on, shelving, on shelves. Um, what was your first handbag purchase mm, well my first handbag purchase I'm old as hell so y'all know I'm not gonna remember that but I'm thinking if you mean my first designer handbag purchase and I really don't remember that either that I purchased myself but I do remember my first Louis Vuitton purchase and that was it's been a while maybe 2012 13 I had a speedy 25 dummy resort and I will insert a picture of me carrying it in this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I really liked the bag, but it had an awful sag to it. And my God, I just, I was one of those girls who, again, wore outfit bags. And I think I ended up loaning it to my niece or my niece borrowed it and I think I never got it back. Um, but this was like, I wanna say maybe 2012, 11, 10, I don't know, it's been a long, long time. And I think I ended up just gifting it to her, um, like I said. But I will, I'll insert a picture. All right, so what is your newest handbag? Okay, so my newest handbag is, I'm gonna have to show you two because I haven't really did the videos for these. So, okay, so the first one is the Palm Springs, what is this, the PM? The PM says, yeah, it's the PM, right? Okay, the Palm Springs PM um, Louis Vuitton backpack. So this is one of the newest purchases and this one right here, and I'm super, super excited about both of them, but this one is actually I got from Coach and I was looking for a tough girl pink bag and I'm gonna do a video on this bag because this is the cutest bag. This is the Rogue by Coach and oh my God, smells so good. The leather smells so good and it's pink. It's that soft pink and it has the snakeskin handles and this is like how tough girls do pink. At least that's how I feel. I feel like I wanted a, I kick down does and pistol whip hoes pink bag. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm doing, I'm tired. I'm going to mess like this. Well, I wanted a tough pink bag. So Man. this was like a really cool, chic, edgy, tough pink bag. And like I said, I'll do a video on it. At another time so and you guys will see my whole like um, how I arrived at that purchase okay so forgive me if I offended anybody um, what is your most expensive handbag now I think well if you go by the value of the bag it would be my pink um, jumbo was pink Chanel jumbo it would be this one but if you went by what I actually paid, it would be this one. Because they were, I pretty much paid the same price for this one because I got this one a little bit on sale because I bought this one pre-love. And this one was bought new at the boutique. I think this one was maybe like 100, 
or $200 more than this one. But I think these two would probably be the two most expensive handbags in my collection. And what was your most dramatic hand buying experience? Um, hell, all of them are dramatic <laughs> if my loving hubby is with me because, you know, he kicks and screams and hollers when it's time to pay. <clears throat> so I don't really have one that really comes to mind. I, I think I told a story, the DeVille. No, what about when uh, you sat your bag down trying to fit all your stuff in another bag and a lady picked up your bag trying to... Yeah, I, this <laughs> probably happened to a lot of people. Yeah. But I sat, I was trying on another bag and someone mistakenly picked up my bag to try it on. And it made sense, it would have been like a, a honest mistake had the bag been a bag from that boutique. But I was in a Chanel boutique and I had a Louis Vuitton bag. So I don't know why you thought that this Louis Vuitton bag didn't belong to somebody else. But, you know, however, um, once we realized who had my bag, because she kind of came out of the boutique and was taking pictures of everything in it, um, it was kind of like, I, you know, was sweating bullets and a little scared of where the hell is my purse <laughs> while I'm getting ready to make this purchase of this other one. Like down those and fist the whip. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, current favorite handbag store. What's our current favorite handbag store? Louis Vuitton is our current hand, uh, favorite handbag store. Although I love my sales associates at Chanel. They are awesome. I, I think all of them are great, but Louis Vuitton is kind of like, what I love about that store is that um, the teamwork in there, if my sales associate's out of town, the other uh, sales associates jump right in to help and, you know, they'll even text me, you know, Max, is, you know, is there anything you need or look, we got this new thing in. Um, they, you know, they don't drop the ball. I think it's really great that they all kind of help each other along and I, you know, eardrop. So I, I, I ear hustle. So I listen to when people are in the boutique and how they're treating them and how they're interacting with them because I know that, you know, everybody deserves that same experience that I get. Whether you spend, whether you buy five purses a year, one purse a year, one belt or whatever, everybody deserves that experience. And I will have to say that at the boutique that I go to, as far as I'm concerned, what I've witnessed and what I can see, I feel like that that same level of attention is given to everyone no matter the dollar amount that they spend. I, and I really, and I think all of the sales associates, I, I love the way they work together as a cohesive unit there. So that is my favorite um, handbag store. My current favorite handbag. What's my current favorite handbag? You know what? That one right there, the Chanel Gabrielle. And I did an unboxing, or not, a, I did a reveal with you guys and I talked to you guys a little bit about it. I have been, Carrying that one, between that one and the Gabrielle backpack, I am really loving them. They're so casual and effortless, and they look chic and edgy, and there's a ton of different ways you can wear them. And I've been kind of like putting in my hours on wearing those, because I do want to come back and give you guys a review, because I know it's a new release, and everybody wants to know how it wears. And I am not someone who's like baby in a bag or doing any of that. Um, and so far so good. I, I will say that I haven't ran into anything that's like dramatic or anything like that that has happened with me carrying it. So I will say that both of the Gabrielle bags right now are my current favorites because I pretty much love every handbag that I have because if I didn't like it, I would get rid of it. Um, my least favorite handbag. What's my least favorite handbag? Can you think? I like all my handbags. I don't have a... Well, I do own the Louis Vuitton uh, World Tour Neverfull in the MM size. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and although I love the bag, that bag made me mad as hell when it got to be winter and I realized that my arms was too big to fit them. So I was a little upset at the bag. I know I should be upset at my arms and me, but I just was like distraught that my big arms wouldn't fit. But other than that, I still carry the bag. I still love it. I still think it's chic as hell. Um, I'm not, I don't plan on getting rid of it or anything. I just plan on making my arms smaller so that I don't have to get embarrassed trying to maneuver with my coat and pulling the handbag up over my shoulder. So if I had to name one, I would say that I'm slightly angry at that one for that reason only. All right. Um, next handbag purchase. 
What's my next handbag purchase? You sure you want to ask that while I'm what you go? <laughs> what you go? I don't even know why you shot this video while I'm sitting here. <laughs> what? Yeah. What handbag you gonna buy me next? What's my next handbag purchase? What you want for your birthday? No, I don't want it's my birthday gift. I just want this as a handbag. Oh no, you get enough of these just handbags, <laughs> damn gifts. I purchases. think my next handbag purchase is I'm looking for a black crossbody bag, solid black with probably gold hardware, something small and petite that I can carry to festivals and stuff like that. So I'm looking for that kind of a bag, just something that is not a flat bag. But that's kind of like, you know, an open bag, kind of something similar to the Celine Nano, but not the Celine Nano. Um, I'm kind of looking for something along that line. So I have a couple things that I'm thinking about, um, but we'll play it by ear. We'll see how, if the leprechaun let me get any little gold mm -hmm. out of his pocket. All right. And what is your dream handbag? You know what my dream handbag is? The one that I want to get for my birthday or anniversary. You know, that one I'll take. The bill. No, it's not the Deville. I own the Deville. Oh. Del Vo. Well, my dream hand. <laughs> my dream handbag. Deville. No, it's not. <laughs> my dream handbag is the um, Del Vo. I think it's called the Tempet. Tempet. Um, and I will insert a picture of it. I put a picture up on my Instagram a long time ago. I am just lusting after this bag. I want the black, I believe with gold hardware in the mm size and we're actually um planning a trip to chicago and i'm gonna actually go into barney's and actually have a look at it um before i decide you know for sure that that's the one that i want i had a bag a long time ago before i even knew Devel existed from henry bindle that was an expired version of that and i always loved that bag and when i realized that there was like a higher end luxury version of it that had better quality you know leather and design and all that stuff and that it came in larger sizes because the one that I have is a mini. Um, I was like floored when I saw the bag. So I will insert a picture of it so you guys know what I'm talking about. But that right there is my dream handbag. And I think once I get that, I'm going to sit down for a little while. Right? I'm going to sit down. I'm going to retire from the handbag game. You don't know. All right. So that is everything I have for you guys tonight. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and... The leprechaun. <laughs> and we'll holler at you guys later. Peace. Say peace. Peace.